आ गए जुबान आपका बड़ा है Jesus help me to spread thy fragrance everywhere I go flood my soul with thy spirit and love penetrate and possess my whole being so utterly that all my life may only be a radiance of thine esci da lui spirito immondo e cedi il posto allo spirito santo che lo comanda Cristo Gesù figlio di Dio e figlio dell'uomo stay with me and then I shall begin to shine as you shine So to shine as to be a light to others. Dorme. È finita. Mother Teresa arrives in heaven. God comes to meet her. He says, you must be hungry after your journey. He opens a can of tuna. Mother Teresa looks down into hell. She sees the condemned sitting at a huge banquet, lobster, venison. Mother Teresa cries out, God, why in heaven do we eat like paupers while in hell they eat like kings? And God says, For two people, it doesn't pay to cook. The old ones are the best. That one's been knocking around since her beatification. Rather like this cure. If this was a miracle, why did Vimal take so long to come forward? He was cured six months after Mother Teresa died, ten years ago. I'm always more persuaded when people don't shout about it. And he's afraid it will get in the way of his ordination. Leprosy is easily treated with antibiotics. Except we have a deposition from the chief surgeon at Kannagar Hospital. Yes, I'm sure you have. The leprosy disappeared without antibiotics. Unless you suspect this eminent physician of falsifying medical records. Falsifying? Ooh, it's an ugly word. No, but this eminent physician does have a very close relationship with the missionaries of charity. We all know she's up there, Jacob. We all want to make her a saint. Just find us a better miracle. Ciao. Ciao. How is life in the miracle factory? Slow. It's like he's actively blocking her canonization. The delay is obvious. She was exorcised before her death. Those were prayers, not a full exorcism. She wasn't possessed. She was under attack. The Vatican doesn't like to talk about it, Avian. They prefer to call miracles. <laughs> you should get out more, look up once in a while. I prefer to face the enemy. You have a talent for exorcism. Use it. Well, it's been great catching up. We have enough saints. What we need now are soldiers. Vincenzo, you're preaching to the converted. I believe in Satan. It's not enough to believe. You have to seek him out. You've already been chosen. Oh, I'm flattered. Not it's... by me, nor by anyone in the church. But you have a direct outline to God. Your name has come up in exorcisms. They fear you. They fear you becoming chief exorcist. I have nothing to worry about then. Take care. They will do everything in their power to prevent it. Padre, 
mi può aiutare con questo peso? Sì, sì. Come va il lavoro? Ma è andato meglio. E lei? Non posso lamentarmi. Conosco un posto dove si trovano scappi gratis. Mi piace sentire la terra sotto i miei piedi. Dio ti benedica. Hope you like tuna. Did you say something? Non capisco, padre. Are you lost? She asked for him by name. You must know her. Donna, why won't you talk to me? I'm not going to bite. I want to see Father Jacob. Are you the one that's been calling? Don't say I didn't warn you. Please. What's going on? It's fine, I'm handling... It's my dad. My dad's sick. Please. Yes, I deleted them. If I bothered you with every single crank or comedian, she's ten. Well, it might be your idea of fun. Look at her. She's upset because it's got out of hand. When was it? A couple of months ago. And then she started calling. I told her if she kept... I can't believe you're falling for this. OK, Donna, here's the deal. You lend me your mobile so I can call your mum. I'll listen to whatever it is that's worrying you and I'll try and sort it out. Hmm? Or find somebody who can. I can't help you. You can. I read about it. See, sometimes when we investigate a miracle, it turns out to be someone nasty playing a joke. That's when I might do an exorcism. But it's very rare. And I don't do it on demand. Why not? I haven't heard anything that makes me think he's possessed. Lots of people hate religion, you know. He talks to them in his room. Has your father done something to make you angry? I'm not making it up. Have you told your mother? They're already split up. She'll stop me seeing him. Okay, well, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll sort something out. It's a very strong perfume you're wearing. I'm not wearing perfume. <laughs> Don't tell her, please. What are you doing here? I've been going out of my mind. What's going on? She's been making up stories about her father being possessed. What kind of movies are you letting her watch? You're off the hook, you'll be glad to hear. Rome does not recognize my cure. I'm sorry, you must be disappointed. I suppose you would have made a reluctant poster boy. Got a date yet? They were talking ordination in the autumn, weren't they? I've asked for the postponement. Oh. If there's anything I can help with, you will let me know. You've done more than enough for me. If I can get in, anyone can. Do you want to talk about it? I've been talking to God about it for a long time. Well, any time you want a second opinion. What do you want their address for? None of your business. 
Are you really going to follow this up? Anybody who comes to me talking about possession has got to be in trouble, no matter what the cause. It's got nothing to do with us. Oh, thank you, sister. They're not even Catholic. No, it's no accident she came to you. We don't decide our calling, and neither does the Vatican. Oh, I knew you'd be pleased. So how do I investigate possession without consent? What evidence do you have this man is possessed? In exorcism, you can get the foulest stench. And sometimes, when we investigate a miracle, you can get the opposite, an overpowering smell of flowers. His daughter has it. Is she devout? I don't think she knows. They do. That is why they attack her. उन्हें पता चल गए है कि तुम कौन हो इसीलिए उन्होंने तुम्हारे चमत्कार को रद्द कर दिया है तुम अभी तक गंदे हो मैंने ही तुम्हारी प्रार्थना स्वीकार की है उस छुरी हूं बड़े नन्हे नहीं मैं तुमसे धन्यवाद के लिए नहीं कह रहा मैं तुमसे केवल ये कह रहा हूं कि तुम उस कल का इस्तेमाल करो जो मैंने तुम्हें दी है अपने पड़ोसी से प्रेम करो उतना ही जीतना कि खुद से अगर तुम तो मेरे उपहार का इस्तेमाल नहीं करोगे तो मुझे उसे वापस लेना पड़ेगा Do you know my leprosy was cured by God? What happened to you was a miracle. Whatever the Vatican says. How do I know whose miracle it was? What do you mean? I never had these thoughts before I was cured. What thoughts? That I was given this skin to tempt me. When your leprosy was removed. certain feelings may have surfaced and that doesn't mean that anyone's trying to trap you that's not how god works is this why you're delaying your ordination i'm not ready no one is पता चलने पर वही किया वो तुम्हारा दोस्त रहेगा अगर उसे तुम्हारे विचारों का ज्ञान होता I told your secretary you needn't have come. Oh please, I was passing. Can we serious talking to? She won't bother you again. And the idea what prompted it? She won't talk about it. He's upset her. I'll find out. How long have you been separated? About a year. It was very amicable. She's there most weekends. But you don't spend much time with him. And I know he hasn't gone off his head. And Donna won't talk about it. it. Can't be that bad. She still wants to go to the game with him. Well, it takes her to football. Pub down the road. Some European match, and he's got up for half term. So I don't know why she's upset with him, but I'll find out then. I didn't mean to poke my nose in, but possession—it's a strange thing for a child to leap to. Amazing people still believe in it. Well, I don't imagine for a moment that he is possessed. But do you think it's possible I might maybe talk to him? What are you, social services? I said I'm sorry she bothered you now back off. What kind of complaint? You accused her daughter of being abused. She wanted to know who to write to. 
I hope you told her the Pope. I'm sure that family needs help, but not from us. How can you know? Because we work for the causes of saints, not the causes of Satan. The Cardinal thinks you're getting bogged down with Mother Teresa. He wants you to park her and give Newman a push. If you're looking for the game, it's a 7.30 kickoff. Use that language in front of a child. Father Jacob. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. Nice. Europe and we're playing like this. It's just some snow excuse. I'm, I'm sorry. Now you apologize to her. You have to say three Hail Marys before you let me go. Don't put this guy out of his misery, will you? I'm sorry I said those things. It's not true. If you have kids, mate, you wouldn't believe it. They are vicious. I'm going to call someone. I'm going to make sure that you're safe. No. If you tell anyone, I'll say I was lying. If you go to his flat, I can prove it. Donna, you have to understand that I haven't got the authority to enter somebody's home. I can't exorcise somebody without their consent. You've got to come, please. website. They send you a free DVD about how God doesn't exist. Hi, my name's Liam and I deny the Holy Spirit. Are you sick if you think about it? Oh, Jesus has sex with his own mother to create another God that's actually himself. And that's where I'm going. Good. And why would I want to spend eternity surrounded by religious fruit cases who sing and dance and wave their hands in time to some shite failed middle class rock band? So he turned some water into wine. <laughs> so he walked across the frickin' seas. <laughs> so you got yourself crucified. Here's a little biscuit from me. Well, I've read these myself. It's cold in here, even with the heating on. He talks to someone all night by himself. I've checked his mobile and his computer. He's not making any calls, so who's he talking to? Are you afraid he'll hurt you? Not him. Them. of school but didn't realize she was having delusions i thought it was best to talk to you before contacting social services thanks she's worried about who you talk to at night i caught her going through my texts so i got a second mobile i didn't want her to know that i got a girlfriend now it's my girlfriend she wants thrown out not the devil even you guys don't go for all that hammer horror stuff anymore do you not really no how did she find you then now, you must have done some Exorcisms. A few. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Well, uh, I'm sorry you had a wasted trip. No, I wouldn't say that. The problem's out in the open now. I could have just called. I never make a diagnosis by phone. Oh, it's a diagnosis, is it? Sorry. How bad is it? You're a very committed atheist. No offence. None taken. But I'll tell you what might be good for Donna is if you just played along and let me say a couple of prayers over you. Then she can start to accept what's really going on in your life. Okay. Tell her you've exercised me and I'll back you up. I think we both know that Donna's too smart to be fooled by that. You can't take a ten-year-old girl to an exorcism. I think social services might have something to say about that. Well, since you're not possessed, there wouldn't be anything to scare. Her, would there? Just a couple of prayers, that's all. Look, I know you're trying to help, but really I wouldn't have to keep a straight face. Even so, why not just go through the motions? For your daughter? You want me to go through one of your medieval rituals as what? As an example to my daughter on how to sort out family problems. Well, just now you were happy for me to lie to her and pretend that you'd been exorcised. What's the difference? You're right. I do want it to get better. But some things are sacred. She needs a psychiatrist, not a witch doctor. Why do you find the idea of a simple blessing so repulsive? I'll make you a deal. Piss on a crucifix and then you can flick holy water on me. How about that? Social services, please. Child protection. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on what she's watching from now on, eh? Nah, that's no problem. Okay, well, you're not getting fight. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. I'm not angry with you, love. I just want to talk. Honey, you don't really think I want to hurt you. But you want to see me anymore? Yeah, because that's what's going to happen if you go around telling people that I'm a nutcase, Donna. Donna! Donna! What's the matter with you? Get up off your knees! You can't keep her here. Have you completely lost the plot? What's the alternative? You call her mother and you call social services, or I will. Taking his daughter away from him is not going to solve his problem. It'll just break the family up. You think you can solve his problem? I think God can. As long as you still know the difference. You may not want to believe in possession, but I'm afraid it's church teaching. It's not what I signed up for. Go back and read Mark. In my name shall they cast out demons. It's not my calling. Well, it's in the job description, sister, and it's not in the small print either. When the church first started out, every Christian was an exorcist. If she's here, you better hand her over. I can have you charged. Go ahead. Let's show them her bruises. Now, either you face up to your problem, or you're going to lose your daughter. Let me help you. Don't touch me. 
You know you need help. You've never hurt her before, have you? There is nothing wrong with me. Donna's in the chapel. Go ahead. I need to see her. Not until you're clean. Please just let me tell her I'm sorry. Me or the police. I can't bring this shit into my house. I can't. उसने हमें निकाल दिया तो वो मुझसे तुम्हारे बारे में बता देंगे तब वो तुम्हें बाहर कर देगा What are you looking for in here? I thought it was my problem, not hers. You've been losing your temper more than usual. I just don't like seeing her turn into a religious freak. Why are you so angry at God? Does he prevent you doing what you want to do? I do whatever I want. Hmm? Did you come in this room much? No, it stinks in here. You don't like flowers? You think that's flowers? There's something wrong with you. How did you meet Mother Teresa? She saw me begging. Did she talk to you? It's a lovely story, Vimal. I don't know why you don't like telling it. She kissed him. With leprosy? That's what everybody said. Why did you touch him? He's unclean. What did she say? Because he is my lord. Why would Donna be interested in her? Has she ever been to India? No. Have you? Before she was born. Is that where you first got angry at religion? You ever been inside one of our places? The missionaries of charity. Mother Teresa's racket. The saint of squalor. You went there? I collapsed in the street. The roads were gridlocked. They couldn't get me to a hospital, so they brought me in. Were you near death? They didn't save my life, if that's what you're thinking. They don't do medicine. It's just pure luck I pulled through. Did they baptise you? Does it sound like I let someone baptise me? Well, they might not have called it baptism. Did anybody ask you if you wanted a ticket to St. Peter? You're telling me they baptised the dying? They converted them? Well... They're missionaries. But what about all the Muslims and Hindus? How could they get away with that? There'd be a riot. They did it while they were bathing with forehead. Okay, what if I was? Baptism's supposed to get rid of the devil, isn't it? Baptism is a form of exorcism, but exorcism is only effective if a person accepts God. Otherwise, it just creates a vacuum for more demons. Says who? Says you. When an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Then it goes out and finds seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that man is worse than the first. Luke chapter 11, verse 24. Is it true lepers used to have to carry around bells? 
It was a long time ago. Is it true, Mother Teresa cured your leprosy? Well, Mother Teresa asked God and God cured him. Couldn't you ask God yourself? We do, but we ask the saints as well. They're up there with God so they can put in a good word for us. If God made you new skin, couldn't he have made you new fingers as well? Now you're being silly. I often ask myself the same thing. Why did he give you leprosy in the first place? Some things are a mystery, Donna. We need to have faith. He let demons hurt my dad. I doubt that's what's wrong with him. Come on. Do you believe in demons? Yes. Did they hurt you? They hurt Mother Teresa. We don't know that either. Fimmel, you're in jail. Hello? Did you know Donna before she came to us? No. Why? Put Donna on, will you? It's Father Jacob. How's Dad? He'll be fine. Donna, what do you know about Mother Teresa? She helped the poor. And did you know that my work involved Mother Teresa? Is that why you came to me? No. And you never saw Vimal before? No. Who's your favourite saint? Bartholomew. Why? He's in charge of healing. I had to go to St Bartholomew's hospital once. Put Vimal back. Father, I want to confess something. Later, take Donna to the chapel and pray for her father. I want about now or I'm calling the police. I don't care what happens to me. You don't care why this is happening? Then tell me. It's the thing inside you that knows, and the only way it'll tell us is if we torture it. You're out of your mind. Which is it going to be, your pride or your daughter? Now, if you want to lose her, go ahead and call the police. And if you want her back, all you have to do is listen to some prayers. It's that easy. You can't. You need the permission of a bishop. Taken care of. And you need two priests. You seem to know an awful lot about it. Anybody would think that you'd met an exorcist before. You're not the first person to give him shelter, and you won't be the last. Saint Bartholomew's. Yes, of course, it's not far. But you need people with you, or you're putting yourself in physical danger. Will you hear my confession? You cannot undertake an exorcism without relics, without holy water, crucifix, Bible. That's the deal. Will you help me or not? You must at least restrain him. Jacob. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I don't know any prayers. You don't need to. Just talk to God and ask him to help your father. How about that? However you like, he can hear you. Agar tum pratanar karoge to hamu se badad denge, tab tum se sab kuch chhan jayega. Why do you have to confess? The demon will use any ammunition to defend itself, especially the sins of the exorcist. So demons can read minds. No, they know what's hidden. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid. I'm embarrassed. Yes, that's normal. Laughter and ridicule are its first line of defense. In the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, hear us. God, the Father in heaven. <laughs> have mercy on us. God, the Son, <laughs> Redeemer of the world. <laughs> have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity. Oh, Lord, one God. God. <laughs> have mercy on us. Lord, but I don't really got it out of my system. <laughs> Don't touch me. 
Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Maybe Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. You're wasting your Pray life on us. this bullshit. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. When you die. Saint Raphael. Rot. Dear Jesus. Just put thy fragrance everywhere I go. I wish there was left off. All the holy Ten orders seconds. of the blessed spirit. Just so you could Pray see your us. face. Saint John. You see your face when you realize that it's nothing. Pray for us. They're all dead. They can't hear. Pray for us. Oh, I gave it a go. I went to Saint Andrew. Pray for us. And be so that every soul I come in contact with may feel that presence in my soul. Saint Jay. Pray for us. I want you to stop. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Jesus. Pray for us. Shut up. Saint Bartholomew. Who are you? Why do you torment this man? Na Adam Chechu Buyum to Vuane. Why? Exorcisti Ipa, Dutta Vadessa Shpeti, Bashk Metamethum, Dana Funcioni Iti. Bartholomew and all the saints command you unclean spirit. Torn Dolce. With all your minions now tormenting this creature of God. Doria. Your face. By the mysteries. Bartholomew. The resurrection. The voyage. In the name of the Father. हम से चुटकारा पाने की कोशिश ये नाकाम हुई। तुमने अपना जीवन बेकार ही नष्ट किया। देखा प्रार्थना करने से क्या होता है? Stay here. No, no, no. Don't go out there. तुम उसे नहीं बचा सकते। Hand her over and I'll let it go. You know what he's saying, don't you? Well, he, he's going round saying that I'm possessed by demons. <laughs> why, why is he on? Where is he? No idea. I know. He said his prayers, nothing happened. Now either you go and get her right now, or I'm going to hit you with a lawsuit so hard you won't be allowed near a child again for the rest of your life. And I'll make sure that applies to you personally, sister. She came here with an injury. I grabbed her arm. Now, what, what have I got to justify myself to you for anyway? Now, you're the ones who encouraged her in the first place. I mean, no wonder she keeps running back to you. Look at all the attention she's getting. Bruised her arm. Are you going to ruin my family because of that? That's not up to me. It's up to social services, and that's who we have to call. Have you never lost your temper? Not with a child. What about the time you beat your little brother for pissing in the bath? More than a bruise you gave little Jimmy, wasn't it? He had nightmares for a year. <laughs> Hi, police, please. Yeah, I'd like to report a child abduction. She's not safe out there. The girl's father is mentally ill. He assaulted her and he assaulted me. That's because you kidnapped her. Donna came to us in a distressed state. 
This man told my daughter her father's possessed. He is not fit to be in charge of a child. Have you got any witnesses? No. Talk to his boss in the Vatican. Even his own cardinal thinks he's a head case. Do not let him near your daughter. Haven't you done enough damage? Don't leave her on her own until we've been through everyone's statements. Which prayer did you use? Mother Teresa's prayer. It was the first English I knew. I felt very supported. Thank you. They told you? Nothing I didn't already know. It's their revenge. When they attacked Mother Teresa, I was there. I prayed for her. They left her and entered me. Your sexuality's got nothing to do with what's happening here. After she died, I prayed to Mother Teresa. But it was the demons who answered. They were the ones who cured my leprosy. No. That's a lie. These thoughts, have you ever acted on them? No. Then you haven't committed a sin. But I cannot become a priest unless you help me. Exorcise me. They can make it come back. You want me? Who? I see him in the chapel. In my room. Wherever I close my eyes. He's inside me. Satan spoke to Christ in the desert. It didn't mean that Christ was tainted. And these thoughts may not be mine. You said you'd help me. An exorcism won't change you. Please, Father. Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Blessed Michael the Archangel, of the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. <coughs> I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. Your authority to perform exorcisms is revoked. You are to confine yourself to the labors our congregation has set for you. And when I come across Satan, I should just let him get on with his business. A girl is being abused. How do we help? By demonizing the father. Why do you reach for the most exotic solution when the reality is staring us in the face? If you believe that Satan is a rare and exotic presence in our lives, then you are in the wrong religion. Vimal, your devotion to the cause of Mother Teresa has touched all our hearts. I feel great sadness to inform you that your future does not lie with the priesthood. I'm sorry. But it is not discrimination to prevent homosexuals from becoming priests any more than people with vertigo from becoming astronauts. If you want to make an example of me, then do. Don't take it. The ruling is clear. If a candidate presents deep-seated homosexual tendencies, then his spiritual director as well as his confessor have the duty to dissuade him from proceeding towards ordination, not to perform an exorcism. Since when does the Congregation for the Causes of Saints pronounce on the priesthood? All contact with Monsignor Vincenzo will cease. And that message is also being conveyed to him via his congregation. Will you agree? I can only agree to follow my conscience. Be careful you don't follow it out of the church.
It doesn't mean you have to leave. You can still study. You can still contribute. God does not want me. It's clear now. I will always be unclean. If they're attacking you, it's because you're close to God. I beg for a cure so I could satisfy my own desires. God would never have answered that prayer. Stay here. We can appeal this decision. No. Cardinal is right. I must make peace with my demons. Monsignor Vincenzo. We're actually doing fine for exorcists this week. Why would they care who becomes chief exorcist? They are preparing for war. The next chief exorcist will be far more important than I am. If it's not me, it'll be somebody else. You are the one they fear. Why? You can only learn that by drinking from this cup. I'd rather focus on the ones they're threatening, Donner and Vimmel. First, understand why these two. They are under attack because they are close to God. If they fall, you will question God. I'm worried about. I'm so sorry. I'm fine now. Are you still sick? No, I, I'm. I'm okay. I've, I've been to church. Listen, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. When can I see you? Gotta get dark, okay? We can pray together, but don't tell your mum because she's still mad at me. I love you, Dad. I love you more. know about Bartholomew? Hardly in the Gospels. Preached in India. Bartholomew died in Caucasian Albania. Madame Teresa was born in Albania. The demon spoke Albanian, but Donna wasn't even born when Mother Teresa died. See you with you. 
you. You let her go out. I didn't let her do anything. If she finds him, he will harm her. He'd never hurt her. You don't have to believe it. You just have to believe that he does. He's on a mission. He wants to take something holy and innocent and debase it. Do I have to spell it out? The gates will be locked. Where? She was born June 12th, 1998. How does that help? Was she conceived on September the 5th? September the 5th, 1997 was the day that Mother Teresa died. You might remember it better as the week Princess Diana died. We are not the ones who attacked your little girl. You know he's ill. September the 5th, yes? Where did it happen? Kensington Gardens. What happened? Before you made love. He kept talking about the flowers. Kept saying how everything stank. Everyone else was crying and lighting candles. He said we should celebrate. You were celebrating the death of Mother Teresa. Dear Jesus, help me to spread thy fragrance everywhere I go. Love my soul with thy spirit and love. Penetrate and possess my whole being so utterly that all my life may only be a radiance of mine. This is where we made you. Me and your mum. Right here. My mother Teresa smelled like you. That's why her dad called her. Should we go and see Mum now? Oh, I'm going to see her right after I've seen the priest. I'm going to tell him in great detail what happened here. Then he can come and find you. It'll be perfect. You want me to stay here? They keep saying I'm the one who's possessed. But it's you, baby. It's always been you. Donna, come here, love. I want you to take this and go to your mother. Now run. By the coming of our Lord for judgment, I command you to obey me to the letter.
Almighty Father, oh, 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 It's over. He did this to a friend of yours. And you want to exercise him and let him go? Boss can't hold demons. He will just enter somebody else and kill again. You won't find it so easy to evict me. I'm a thousand times more powerful than your last victim. If you converse with a demon, you may lose your faith. Oh. <laughs> if he's so powerful, why doesn't he come here and face us? Never destroy my face. Don't run, fight! Martin Shaw continues his challenging work next Thursday night at nine in the second chapter of Apparitions. Tonight on the BBC HD channel, Jack D stars in our comedy Lead Balloon. Up next. <laughs> 